6 Amazing Underwater Discoveries That Will Shock You We have so much to learn about the world, but so little time. This emphasizes time management. These discoveries will change your mind. If you think you've seen everything on Earth, some of them are natural and mysterious. Only 5% of the ocean has been explored by humanity, indicating its vastness. Oceans cover 80% of Earth's surface. It's primarily undiscovered, and its deep blue seas remain undisturbed. Arrogance and ignorance make us appear more tech-savvy than we are. Watch on to discover natural and artificial ocean secrets. So what are some of the most incredible discoveries made underwater? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Remember to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to ensure you get all the updates. Let's start the video. Yonaguni Monument A different name for these is the Yonaguni Submarine Ruins. The ancient structures were first uncovered in 1986 by a group of Japanese tourist officials who were in the area to study sharks. They are located at the southernmost tip of Japan's Ryukyu Islands. The site is home to a sizable population of hammerhead sharks, and the mysterious ruins have made it a popular diving spot despite the area's notoriously rough currents. Terraces or stepped monoliths erected thousands of years ago for some unknown purpose are how the building seems to the untrained eye. Even said, only some scientists are willing to rule out the possibility that this is a naturally occurring phenomenon. The New Jersey Train Graveyard While out and about in New Jersey, you can come across a derelict train that has been left to rot away, covered in vegetation and grass. Contrarily, in 1985, Paul Hepler found what appears to be a train graveyard beneath the ocean's surface. A succession of dives confirmed what Hepler's equipment had initially detected as massive metal cases. Locomotives. These are some of the last remaining examples of the Planet Class 222T trains built in the 1850s. The specifics of how this train sank off the shore of New Jersey are unknown. A Sphinx. In 2014, divers searched the ocean floor of the Bahamas coast to investigate a shipwreck. They researched every detail of their topic and looked over the area for other relics and information until they came across a limestone sphinx that didn't belong there. The statue's origin is a mystery. However, it is thought that it was transported there from Egypt's Wadi Rahanu, the lost city of Heraklion. Thonis Heraklion was once a bustling Egyptian port city on the Nile's western bank. Historians have talked about it since the 12th century BC, and its significance is thought to have arisen in the pharaoh's final reigns. Like many ancient port cities, this was an essential hub for commerce and manufacturing. Once upon a time, before Alexandria took over, Egypt's tax revenue was primarily collected in Thonis, Heraklion. The city's soil liquefied, plummeting 30 feet below the water's surface. The European Institute for Underwater Archaeology found the location in the year 2000. Lake Michigan Stonehenge Professor Mark Holly of Northwestern University in Michigan led a group of divers into the depths of Lake Michigan, the greatest of the Great Lakes in the United States, to conduct underwater archaeology research on sunken vessels. Instead, they came to concrete constructions that resembled England's Stonehenge in ways that surprised them. Since the lake's deepest point is over 9,000 feet deep, the water depth was just 40 feet. Stones were laid down parallel to an ancient coastline, and researchers discovered a mastodon carving among them. Since mastodons became extinct more than 10,000 years ago, this contradicts their earlier assumptions that the buildings might be only 9,000 years old. The USS Oriskany the USS Oriskany, sometimes known as the Mighty O, is a World War II-era Essex-class aircraft carrier. After one of the Revolutionary War's fiercest conflicts, the Battle of Oriskany, the area was given its current name. In 1976, the vessel was taken out of service and eventually sold for scrap. To the USS Oriskany's surprise, it's helping the planet in ways that aren't strictly part of its mission. As the largest ship ever used as an artificial reef, it has drawn divers from all over the world to the Gulf of Mexico since it was sunk there in 2006. This is it everyone, so what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also put on the notifications because the following video is going to be a great one.